Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin charts together. I will be covering the next support and resistance level that I think are really crucial on this chart as well as the pattern that is forming right now that I've just seen. I will be covering that pattern for you, the breakout targets to the up and to the downsides and how we can be approaching really the next week of trading here on a video where I have to say it is really, really good to be back. Obviously, I've been away on vacation with some of the CC group and, uh, you know, it's, it's been an absolute blast. And uh, in today's video, I want to go over in a three part video. We'll start off with a bit of an introduction, one or two minutes to say hello. And then we'll move on to the Bitcoin charts, the love of our life, Bitcoin trading, uh, you know, how we can be approaching this next week of trading with the levels. And then a little introduction, a little... <laughs> a little outro to end. Uh, so I hope that sounds really good. And uh, let's begin with the quick intro. And it really is just a wonderful, it's just a really heartwarming way to start, I think, because obviously I've been on vacation for the past week. And funnily enough, this is this is seven days of price action, no, eight days of price action with being away and Bitcoin become a stable coin. It's really just gone sideways over the past seven days after the drop on the Sunday, which was which was pretty nice. It gave us time to relax. Um, but it really, it's really been such a wonderful experience. Like that was my first holiday in two years. I've just been working, 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 you know, grinding away on the hustle for the past two years. And it was first time to take a break and then to take a break with some really special people uh, from obviously from the chart champions group, meeting up with them. And it's, oh, it's, it's really, really heartwarming. And it just really gives gives you that whole sense of, you know, like like how Chart Champions was originally created, that sense of family, that sense of community. I can like definitely say some of my best friends now are from the Chart Champions group. And I just think that is, oh, it's really special. It's really heartwarming, you know, and it made me come back today and just be like, bam, let, let's just get into what we love. And it's just this sense of community, bringing people together. Uh, for their love of trading. And it's really, really special. The people in the group are, ah, oh, I love them. And you know, I love you all. But yeah, the people that I've met so far in chat, I must have probably met about 50 people from the group in real life. And every single one of them is lovely. Um, so yeah, what a lovely group we have. It really, really is special. Uh, and with that said, I just wanted to start off by saying, whoosh, whoosh, my heart, I love you all. And let's just crush these charts together. Let's just crush the charts together. Make people some more money so they can come to the next meetup as well. That sounds good, no? Uh, so with that said, let's get into the Bitcoin charts. This is what brings us together as one. La Familia, Bitcoin. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, uh, this is what I really uh, was saying this on Sunday's Champions live stream that I done. And it was, you know, actually... Um, this this uh, joy of being able to swing trade Bitcoin, it does give you the sense of freedom, you know, do your hardcore, hardcore, if you want to call it, you know, do your in-depth technical analysis. And then once you've got your levels, you literally can walk away, you can go away, wait for the alerts to go off. And you're not under any sort of you, know, you can trade when you want to trade. And it, oh, it just gives a lot of freedom when you think about it. It's, it's really is pretty amazing. But obviously, what we've had here over the past few days, I want to talk briefly about this quick drop to the downside that we saw, the recovery from this, and then obviously the, the range that we're putting in now with, with the pattern that we've just formed. And obviously, this was we, we dropped on Sunday. Obviously, Sunday was a champion's live stream. And this week it was actually hosted by Victor because two weeks ago I was I was away during this point. And during this live stream, he identified a massive support, in my opinion, what he identified at, at that 39,500 zone. We had the pitchfork confluence, which obviously like, wow, that pitchfork's amazing. And we obviously had this really nice point of control, which I'll show you here. So we're looking at this prior range here. You can see if I extend the line on here a little bit, you can see that we had this point of control coming in at around 39,700. So if we just put this as a key level a second, okay, we can see this is our nice key level of support. And that is from this, this range point of control, which we can now delete. And it was this, it was this thought process of, Okay, here we are trading at about $48,000 at the time, you know, at the time trading at about $48,000. And I was thinking to myself, you know, actually, the most probable outcome here is that we're going to drop because of the amount of support and untapped liquidity that we had below us. So obviously, we were trading sideways, we could also say in a bit of a bear flag. 
uh, you know, up at around $48,000. And it just was, you know, when you get that light bulb in your head, it's just like, bam, we are going to see this. There's no doubt in my mind that we're going to see it. And so I posted on Twitter to help you all out. Drop below $40,000, drop the alts back to, down to support, ride the waves and somebody replies, and it shall happen. So obviously I made it pretty clear my thought processes. Uh, you know, drop below $40,000, altcoins back to support. And, and you know, well, surprise, surprise, we dropped below $40,000. We tapped the support we were waiting for, which in my, for me was $39,500. Uh, it was between $39,500, 39700 And we had so much uh, volume support there. And obviously we did get a large bounce off the back of this. Okay, pretty well, pretty large bounce as well. If you look at some of the altcoins, for example, Tezos was an altcoin that I was trading on this drop down to $4.80. I think even should, for, pretty sure I called this one publicly. I want $4.80 on Tezos. We hit our $4.80, which for me was a buy every day of the week. And this one actually I sold for a 44% bounce to the upside. I mean, I didn't manage to capture the whole move from the low to the high. That was a 66% bounce. I personally closed it for a 44% bounce, which while you're on holiday, you know, five seconds of your time taken up buy and sell, you know, yeah, 44%, what can I say? But anyway, back to Bitcoin. But just as predicted, the altcoins really did drop back down to support. If you were aware of those support levels, man, you could have flipped some of them for a heavy, heavy percentage. But obviously, Bitcoin below $40,000, and that is what happened. We bounced off of our point of controls, and I'll show you this one really quickly as well, because there was small support uh, if this loads. Uh, if we come back here, I will show you this really strong support level that we also had. Excuse the lag here. You see this. Yeah, look at this. This is absolute pinpoint accuracy. You see this point of control here. That was 39,660-ish. And like we literally just tapped all of that support. Yeah, for obviously for that brilliant bounce. That's why we were waiting for these levels. In the end, we obviously came back up. We actually rejected off of an old daily level, uh, slightly front running the CC, of course, for another move back down to this <laughs> to this daily. And you can see right now we are very much finding support of this lower daily level, which is coming in at forty thousand seven hundred and eleven dollars. So you might want to write down some of these levels. OK, we obviously have the lower daily support, which we hit once again. You can see it here. We hit to the dollar. And obviously this morning we come down, look at this, <laughs> look at that, it's accuracy. We come down, we hit the daily once again to the dollar for another bounce to the upside. And now obviously putting in a range within a range. If we come back up to the four hour time frame, I just think you want to write down these levels really. So you have the lower daily 40,711, the higher daily there $44,866. So ultimately, yeah, ultimately we are range bound between these two levels. What is the pattern then that we have forming within this? Well. You know, it's not my favorite pattern in the world, but nevertheless, it's what we have potentially going on right now. And that is the descending triangle. Obviously, we are putting in a lower high, a lower high. We can still come up here for another lower high, for example. Uh, and, you know, this pattern is going to become stronger with, our, you know, several touches of support. And it would be several touches of a lower down sloping resistance. Again, I think we can approach this in a very neutral way. OK, so if we are taking our, uh, you know, our price range tool from the low to the high of the pattern, Let's just be a little bit, you know, it's about a 10% move. So if we are to break this pattern to the upside, I do think you want to pr approach this uh, with no overriding bias. This can break either way. So if we are breaking this to the upside, I like the target because it would come up around the higher daily, which is around $48,000-ish. So we'd be looking for that around that $48,000. Should we break to the upside again? we would have to be careful of moves such as this, which just ultimately fail and come back down. But one would hope one knows how to take profits at resistance. And even if this was the case and we got a fake out, it really should still end in a profitable trade. Uh, so if we get the full strength out of this, you know, you're looking for about $48,000. And again, if you are to break to the downside of this pattern, that would give you a target of around uh, $36,000. So pretty nice, easy, remember, levels. We have $36,000 to the downside, $48,000 to the upside. What you see here, we have this daily coming in at 38190 So just as we have, you know, one, let's be honest, one is not expecting a breakout that just goes vertically to the upside, and likewise a breakdown that goes vertically to the downside, we obviously have levels prior to the upside and levels prior to the downside, primarily the daily here and the daily here, which are likely to, you know, act as resistance to the way down. Of course, you can add on levels such as this as well, Fibonacci from the high to the low. You see the CC here coming in at around 45,500. Uh, 45, so it's not, a, it's not um, 
you know, I like, I always like to say trading is easy. You know, in my, in my opinion, I've been doing this, doing this 10 years. And of course now <laughs> for me, it is easy. Let's be honest, but it's, it's easy, but it's also very difficult if you are not patient. Yeah. In this for example, eight days going sideways, you have to have extreme patience to wait for the high confluence of supports and resistances. And e.g. this is a range right now. But if you are taking premature longs or premature shorts from, let's say, the middle of the range and you're getting chopped up, of course, it's it's very hard. Why? Because, well, I think it all comes down to ultimately you haven't got a good trading plan and then or maybe you do have a good trading plan, but you don't have the patience to wait for the levels. Because let's be honest, the levels even with inside the triangle have been respected very well. Yeah, this was our rejection from the daily, a prior daily. And then obviously we've seen two bounces off of the absolute daily support. So the levels, I mean, we could say to the dollar this morning are respected to the absolute dollar. Yeah, that, that's not, not exaggeration. That, that's just the truth. Um, so yeah, I'm trying not to be sensationalist, but really they are very well respected. And it's just the case of be patient. It's like, I, I mean, I have to use Tezos again because it's just such a perfect example. Tezos really was a beautiful example. We all knew that Tezos was breaking out, but unless I'm saying here, you know, what we're, we're, we're around $7. You know, there's just no way you can buy $7. This is a crazy time to buy. The, the coin's up hundreds of percent. You've got to wait for the retracement. You know, <laughs> I'm waiting for $4.80. You can do whatever you want. You know, it comes down to your support. You then just have to take the confidence because you have to think at the time, people are scared. They have the plan to buy $4.80. How many people do you think bought it? A lot of people not. Why? Not because it wasn't a technical level, but because their emotions get the better of them. They think it will drop down even lower. They get scared. They get fearful. It bounces 66%. They miss it all. And this isn't to laugh at anyone. This isn't to say, ah, look at me. I made the trade. You did. This is just to simply say, you've got to make that trade. When you've made, when you've made the plan take it the worst that will happen is you hit your stop loss yeah that's the worst that will happen and if you've got good risk management you already know prior to the trade how much you're willing to risk and how much you're willing to win off of that trade so you know a loss in trading is really not the end of the world it is to be expected at times you cannot win every single trade and yeah? you cannot win every single trade it's a game of probabilities but you have high probability trades and you have low probability trades the high probability trades are levels of support you see massive bounces off of high probability trades, just as on Bitcoin. You Right now, you have to be patient. Yeah, there's no point in YOLOing into trades in the middle of a range. You really have to be patient for the moves to the upside, to the downside. Again, I would stress, I would definitely look for fake outs. We can, you know, I think it's unlikely that say that this trades absolutely perfectly. I don't think that's likely, to be honest with you. I think you have to be aware of the overall context, which is at the moment range bound. It is a bit of a choppy market. If you are not so comfortable trading the choppy markets, take a step back and watch the charts, watch some of our videos, you know, learn, essentially use this time efficiently and educate yourself, you know. And if you are, you know, you are educated and you are ready for this, of course, you can trade Bitcoin. And as I just showed you, some of the altcoins are just, I mean, I, I don't know any words for the altcoins that they are uh, insane money makers right now. They're massive, massive volatility. Uh, we have Bit. We have the, the buy bit token coming out today. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to this. Making the plan, wait for the drops, get the drops, take the trade. If it's like, like us, be, be, be very happy with, with the outcomes of the trades. If not, record what went wrong, learn and make sure, you know, hopefully if you make a mistake once, yeah, it's absolutely fine. But you do not want to keep repeating the same mistake again. Then it's, uh, you know, then it is a failure. But making a mistake, learning from it, you know, that's that's a positive outcome in my opinion. So, yeah, that, that's basically the technical analysis of today. I wanted to talk you through the current range. I wanted to talk you through, uh, well, I, I guess I've talked you through briefly. But the reason why I thought we were going to drop when we were trading at about $48,000 to below 40 k was really simply because of the massive amount of support that we had below us. We had resting liquidity and just felt like I felt it was more probable to drop. Hence, hence why I... That's why we dropped. Uh, we, we, you know, we had to make the plan, trade the plan. And then, you know, the outcome now we can say is let's just let's just trade the triangle. If we break to the upside, we know the levels. If we break to the downside, we know some key levels here. Hope you have really enjoyed today's video. Want to see champions, my team. It's really, really good to be back. Um, yeah, I have missed making these videos. I really have. And, you know, yeah, I, I'm looking forward. And also, this is the thing. I ha had a little break and now I feel really, really motivated again. I'm just fully motivated. Really happy to be back. And yeah, let's crush it together. Let's just absolutely crush this. Uh, so yeah, if you want to smash that like button as hard as you can, how I've missed saying that, smash the like button, uh, have a smile on your face and let's just be happy. Here we are, 2021 trading Bitcoin. Thank you ever so much, everybody. 
of course, I'll end with the lovely disclaimer that we love to say, and that is, <laughs> that is no financial advice. No financial advice in this video, ed entertainment, educational video only. Hope you have thoroughly enjoyed it though, nevertheless, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Have a great day, and uh, maybe I'll see you in the Contenders live stream tonight. Uh, yeah, we've got the next live stream tonight, so I'll see you in that one, and uh, yeah, have a great day. See you later. Goodbye. Cheers.